Hey y'all, are you ready for another Tuesday morning haul? Yep, another Tuesday morning haul. I have been scoping out the three Tuesday morning stores that I have in my area. There's one in Winston and there's two in the Greensboro area. And I haven't gone to Winston in a while, um, but I was in Greensboro at two different, near two different locations last week. So I went ahead and checked. I'm on the hunt for the Jen Hatfield, the stamps. They are two different stamps that have the word home on there. And I've seen quite a few people hauling them. And um, my, my one store got some Jen Hatfield stuff, but not a ton. So I'm on the hunt for those, obviously. So I'll share with you what I did find because you, you always find something cool at um, Tuesday morning. Um, so this is actually from three or four different trips um, this past week. So it's kind of a collective Tuesday morning haul. So I need more Halloween stuff, like another hole in my head. But I saw these Jolies. They had quite a few uh, Jolies fall and Halloween things. And I picked these up. I just thought they were too stinking cute. They are the um, the little 3D bottles. See, they're, they're puffy. So aren't they cute? Um, these will probably go on like a mini album or altered piece or something. This is actually a little matchbox. Isn't that cute? So I went ahead and picked that up and I almost didn't. And I thought, I don't think I have anything like this in my stash. I'm going to have to do, I have a whole box in my closet of just um, Halloween stuff. So I need to pull that out and start using that. So, But this will obviously get added to that collection, but they're really, really cute. It's got like um, witch's brew and a little potion bottle. So yeah, very, very cute. And I kept passing these guys up. There's something about them. They're so cute. And I wish they wouldn't put the price tag so you could see both of them. But they are too stinking cute. Let me open them up for you so you can see. Put a piece of paper in front of them. Aren't they cute? They, to me, they look like they're dancing. Look at the little cat. Isn't that too adorable? Look, she's got her purse. And they look like they're ready to just go out on the town. <laughs> they're just so cute. And again, they raised the price on these. These used to be like $1.49. Then they went to $1.99. Now they're... 219 still cheaper than the five still cheaper than when they go half off by a little bit so if they if the price starts going up a little bit more i'll probably hold off on buying jolie's um because you can buy it with a 50 percent off coupon um so yeah so i went ahead and picked these up too see they got the little sticker in the way um they're a little bit dimensional to me, there's something about them they just Oh my gosh, I just love them. This one has like little beads on it. This has got foiling. Look how cute that is. And then this is like a filigree. And it's, they're heavy. You see it sliding out of my hand. Um, really, really cute. So again, wouldn't put this on a card because they're just so pretty. It would be something more permanent like a mini album or something. But they're so stinking cute. So they came home with me too. So that's all the fall stuff I think I got. They had a, they had a lot. Um, so like I said, I was looking for some of the Jen Hatfield stuff and um, went ahead and looked at all the stores I was in and I had seen quite a few of these types of stickers in the past couple weeks. And again, these prices have gone up and if they creep up much more, it's cheaper for me to wait for stickers to go on sale because Hobby Lobby carries a lot of these. Um, and I know they've had a huge clearance again, um, which always concerns me when they start doing a, a clearance like this. This isn't the biggest clearance that they've had. They usually do a really, really big one in January. That's when they start rearranging the store. So it concerns me. Our scrapbooking paper aisle is starting to shrink, you guys. So we gotta watch out for that. Um, so yeah, I picked these up. These are sailing. These will match a lot of other paper collections. But like I said, look, the retail price regularly is $4.99. They're almost to that half price point, which is not gonna make it worth it for me to buy when I can get it, you know, um, half price when they, you know, over the coupon at another store. But they are cute. So I went ahead and got them. I love the beach cork. So I got those. They're cute. Yep. I don't do sailing, but still, it's fun. And then this one, just something about this. Um, it's kind of love theme. But it wasn't strictly Valentine's. It wasn't strictly wedding. So I can use these in a lot of different ways. So 
very, very cute. And I love the colors. This will go with so many paper collections. Yeah. So, um, I've been seeing this pink paisley um, ephemera pack for a while as well. And it is, does it have a name? Mm, show it to you while I'm looking. I don't think so. It's basically, it says confetti wishes. Maybe that's what it's called. I don't know. Um, but here's the back. It's got like a, a tropical birthday theme. Um, never had a tropical birthday. Who says I won't? But I can make cards. Maybe summer birthday cards would be cute. And then I can use some of the other pieces in other projects. So very, very cute. I got that. $1.99. So um had been looked at this crepe paper here and there. Envelope. It's eight envelopes. And y'all check out the price. $3.99. Yeah, it's a little pricey. But I'd seen it in there for a while and I thought they are really, really cute. And we did some traveling this summer. And I thought this might be fun addition to some minis or, you know, little mini albums or junk journals or something. So they're really kind of cute. So there's the one, what you get in there. So, yes. So like 50 cents a piece. You know, not too bad. So, um, went ahead and picked those up. Had to get these. <laughs> they're cute. They're little kitty cat uh, paper clips. Two forty nine. You get nine of them. Why nine? Why can't you do ten? Not sure. So, yeah, not the best price. They're like what thirty five, so cents a piece, something like that. I did find the Bow Bunny Cup of Joe that a lot of people have found a couple weeks ago. Our stores are always two to three weeks behind other stores in getting their stuff. So I had seen this like two weeks ago, and I do I need another coffee cup? stamp no did i buy it yes um it's just really i like the fueled by coffee i thought it was cute so yeah got that and then i did get a couple of the jen hatfields like i said i wanted the one for um with that there's two of them that have the word home in it obviously now that i'm selling real estate i use those a lot and i like the font on this so this was the patio party stamp set so went ahead and picked that up like that a lot of cute images, quick cards. This one's heart and home. I love that tree and this, I love that. I think it's a peony. It's a very, very pretty. So I got that. And this is my bright life. Another bicycle. I like the car. That's why I got it. And I like, I like these two here. Got tons of bicycles. The teapot is cute too. So yeah. Went ahead and got that. So that was the only three that I found of the Jen Hatfield. They had not a ton. They had some washi tape, um, which I was tempted to get the washi tape. But there was only like one or two in the pack that I really had to have. So I didn't get it. Um, this chipboard, Summer Bliss by Lori Whitlock, has been around for a while. It's $1.99. And I went ahead and picked it up. And because uh, we've done a few little summer trips this, this summer. And I thought this would just be fun to add to my summer stash. Love the camera. I like the colors. So again, these will match tons of um, collections that I have. Now, we did have some Prima. I know that was from several weeks ago. A lot of people were picking that up. And we finally got a couple pieces. So I got a couple things. I got the two journaling, which you guys have all seen, I'm sure. The two journaling cards. This is the flirty floor, floor, and this one, they got the name. I guess it's poetic. So yeah, you guys have all seen these. So I got those. I don't have any of the other paper. I don't think, I've got other Prima collections that, that this will go with. And I don't care if it's not matchy-matchy, but yeah. So I got those. They tend to have more of the flirty, flirt, try saying that fast, flirty floor. Um, and then they had this teal collection, which I think will go with that as well. So I went ahead and got these. I love these for the size. They're really cute. Little, um, puffy stickers. So yeah, very cute. So I got that one. And then I found one ephemera pack. Look at all that foil. The holographic. That's what's all in there. You guys have all seen these. And I have a couple of other paper collections that this, that I have. I'm going to pair up with this. And I got the chipboard. And again, this chipboard is $2.49, y'all. See, the prices are going up. So there's that front part. See all that, that, all that foiling? 
and then there's the back. And then the only thing they had in the, what I'm calling the pink version, is the chipboard for Poetic Rose. So yeah, that's all they had. And I went ahead and got that. I can pair this up with a lot of other stuff like the little teacups. So very, very cute. So that's all the Prima stuff that I got. And I went ahead and picked up this chipboard. I love the, the Wild Heart. I have to check. I don't think I picked, picked this up already. And see, prices are going up. $2.99. So I went ahead and picked this up because I like the pink elephant. Isn't that cute? I love all the leaves too. So, um, picked this up and I don't think I picked this up before. So I went ahead and got that. And then I saw the coordinating um, stamps. I have to check to make sure I don't have this either. I don't think I picked that up, the Sweet Life. And I like, you know, this will match a lot even with this collection. So, yeah, I went and got that. And there was something about these, I've seen these for quite a while, these uh, charming stickers. Why does this remind me of flamingos? That's what I was telling my daughter. She just kind of looked at me crazy. She's like, what do they do? Something about these remind me of flamingos. We had just gone to Bush Gardens and um, we went to SeaWorld not long ago. For some reason, I see these, I see flamingos. So I went ahead and picked them up. And then the last two things that I picked up is just something, the reason why I got them is I noticed a lot of online stores are starting to clearance these out and I still love them. So they are the We Are Memory Keepers albums made easy, <clears throat> excuse me, refill packs. So you get 20 in here, 20 I think. Yeah, 20 of them. And um, I'm just starting to build up my stash of them so I can continue to make albums. Um, so there was two packs there. And again, these were $3.99. While I was in the store, I went ahead and checked Amazon and checked scrapbook.com and some other place. And a lot of them had them started clearance out. These were really $10.99, so it was $4. Um, Hobby Lobby does not carry these anymore. I think they discontinued them a while ago, a long time ago. So I figured um, while I saw them, I went ahead and got them. I bought a couple packs not long ago. So I'm just building up my stash of these because I do like these formats for making quick, easy albums. So I went ahead and got them because before long, I don't, I don't know what they're gonna do. Not sure. They'll probably come out with some new system. But I like this system because I have tons of project cards, project life cards, and you know, you know, pocket cards or whatever. So I still like this system. And I've made quite a few gifts for uh, clients using these, and they love them because they can move things around and everything. So that is everything that I got, you guys. I have been busy upstairs. If you guys remember the downstairs, which this used to be my daycare room or one of them turned into my craft room and then my office is right over there. I've been upstairs um, scrubbing carpets um, all yesterday. My daughter um, has two dogs and we've been keeping one because she can only have one in her apartment and he has just done a number on my carpets and I'm like, I can't stand carpet. So um, this close to getting some hardwoods but um, we've decided to wait till she gets a permanent residence. She's getting ready to move into a new apartment. So we're gonna just hold off. So I figured can't stand the, the dirt. So all day yesterday, literally for from like 10 to about six, I scrubbed the carpets and I have a whole process. If you don't wanna listen to it, you guys can turn this off. But I pre-treat and y'all might think I'm crazy. You can buy pre-treater, but I'm gonna tell you what works. You gotta test it on your carpet, get some shout. Yep, laundry detergent shout. The pre-treatment stain spray bottle. So I buy it in a big refillable thing. And then I put it in a smaller bottle. So I pre-treat the floor and the stains. And there was a lot of traffic air in from the kitchen to the living room was, was a lot of dirt. And the dog comes in covered in mud and mulch and everything. So it goes, he goes from right there and pops in the living room. So you can only imagine if I showed y'all a picture, you would die. So, 
Um, I pre-treat everything. I let it sit for about an hour or so. So I did that yesterday morning. Carly actually helped me. I think she actually did most of that pre-treatment. So we let it sit for a little bit. <clears throat> and then I come with my um, carpet cleaning machine and I do the whole room just in hot water. And because you already have pre-treatment down, then I want to try to get up as much of the dirt and that that shout as possible. And so I do it, a, a whole sweep of it. And the, the whole length of the living room is the whole length of this room, just like this big room here. Um, and I can't, it's like the whole length of the house. And then it's this way. So it's a pretty long and narrow room. And so, um, and I, we got most of the furniture out with the exception of a cabinet and had didn't didn't have anywhere to put the sofa so sofa's on this long wall and then I have a bookshelf and then another shelf and the carpet under there is not dirty there's just no way so I just put wax paper under everything and then I will eventually have to move the sofa and do that one little strip where the sofa was that I will have to do so I do the water and that takes like an hour and a half or yeah about two hours for each rotation so I do the water and it's coming up the water was so dirty and then I let that sit for about a half and a 20 minutes half hour and then I go through and I use um the cleaner and I bought this new cleaner it was oxy clean oxy something with game I, ha I, I have to look for the bottle it smelled so good so good and um I just loved it so I that took another two or so hours to do and then I let it sit for a few minutes and then take a break because my hands are raw I'm getting blisters right here from running that machine um so much because your hands get wet and everything so anyway I feel like they're pruned see like they're pruned up from yesterday like I've been in the pool all day yeah just that hand not that hand this hand um and then I come back and I rinse it again with hot water so that's why it took me from like 10 to 6 um, cause it's like two hours or so in between two hours to, to do it all. So then I was exhausted. I was exhausted. So, and then like, I've got this little system that where I, what I'm doing my last sweep and especially in the walkway from the kitchen to the living room, I'm pushing on the machine. So it's getting full contact, um, to pull up all the water. And that takes, that probably took me like 45 minutes just to do that. Like on about four foot by. I don't know, five foot patch or something, six foot patch. I don't know. Anyway, that's what I do. And that's what gets that water up so fast. And it's less drying time. So now I have the drying fans, got the ceiling fan on and three fans and they're drying out. And the driest part, which would you think would be the wettest part, is where I sat and squished the water up. Um, so yeah, that's actually the driest part because I walked on it. I typically don't like to walk on it. So that will be sitting up there probably today, tomorrow. Today's Monday, Labor Day. Happy Labor Day, everybody. Um, and yeah, that probably I like to be fully dry before I put anything back. It might even be Thursday before I put furniture and move it back up, but I'll have to vacuum it all. I like to fluff the carpet back up. But um, this afternoon I want to reassess. There was one stain I know will not come out that the dogs did not do. It was from water being spilled on an antique little ottoman that I had that had um, exposed um, nails at the bottom. And so the little nail head was touching the wet carpet when the water or something had spilled and there's two rust stains. And from the two rust stains have made a big spot. They look like they're gone away when you clean it, but the next morning they come right back up. So yeah, yeah, that I know will not come out, but everything else is looking pretty darn good. So that is how I spent my day yesterday. So today, while everything is cleaned, I've got my last load of laundry going. And I'm going to come down here and play in my room for a little bit. The dishes are done. And um, so, yeah, today is my my fun day in my craft room. So hope you all are all doing well. For those that are in the path of the hurricane, it, it seems to have changed yet again. It's actually going to hit the Carolina coast is what they're saying. I've got a lot of family and friends on the coast. So you guys from Florida, 
up to, you know, all the way up the coast through New England and eventually we'll get to you guys possibly. But I know they're thinking somewhere in the Carolina coast that it's going to be hit. So you guys all stay safe and, um, you know, be careful. So, um, I know we all have lots of great things. These things can be replaced. Um, your lives cannot. So be careful. And, uh, everybody else. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.